Uh, good evening guys welcome back to deco gravity design training how are you doing today uh today i want to show you uh how to create uh, the annual church conference flyer on your hundred smartphone using canva i'm trying to uh, do a kind of uh, make a kind of a just a pose between the pcl and the canva showing you and uh, let you to understand that uh, once you are creative or you know what you do there's no any tools you cannot use even if that tool is limited at least you will still make use of that limitation in making something good out of it so today i came with another amazing tutorial on how you can come up with the annual church conference flyer on your android smartphone so all the resources were gotten from PNG Egg uh, and uh, on free pick. So we have a rough paper, I have a rough paper, and we have a rough circle paper. We have a line, uh, 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 line rough paper as well. Then we have the image of the pastor. Then uh, we uh, I use combine some font and text, some fonts. I use some font type. Then uh, I combine some of elements together to make this particular tutorial. So you are going to know uh, the tip to learn is to know the name of all those elements one after the other. Then now you can combine the color, the tips about that. Then uh, now you can come up with uh, this particular uh, uh, church conference flyer, as I said. So let's head into our Canva as usual. This is my Canva interface. So click on plus sign at the bottom. Then you click on customize. So then you see area where we have the width and the height. You can have 1024 by 1024. Then this is what they call square size uh, of flyer. So after that, we are going to bring all the elements one after the other. So go to the upload at the bottom. Then you click on upload. Then uh, we want to go to our PC lab. Then where we are going to import all the elements one after the other so bringing them one after the other uh, this is amazing so bringing it one after the other so now we're cool once everything is uh is uploaded then we can move to the next uh selection on how we are going to combine all those uh elements one after the other so i'm going to show you tips on how you can make uh, this simple uh annual church uh, conference so without uh wasting much of our time uh, i've been waiting for the element to be uploaded we can bring the background in so selecting the background and uh, you make it fitting and go to the lock make sure you lock it so after that click on plus sign then uh, we have a uh, this uh, rough circle, we we'll have this rough circle, I mean rough paper, sorry. we we'll have a rough paper, then you import and uh, you lock it. Then after that, the image will follow. Then we are going to position the image and send to the back. So you go here and go to the position. So backward, then we'll have this as our result. Then don't forget to lock it as well. Very simple. So after that, we are going to bring in the rest image one after the other. So I'm bringing this one in. So very cool. Then um, I'm going to lock it as well. Always lock your uh, element after importing them so that your hands will not be touching it. Uh, now after positioning this, we are going to repeat the same process by locking it. Then we are going to add into our uploads. And we'll bring this uh, particular element in, which was missing before. So bringing in this element after uploading, then we're going to import it as uh, usual, with, as we did with others. Then we'll make sure that we have it lack. Sorry, we'll have it lack as well. Now, we have all the elements been lack. One question is this. How does all this element match exactly the size? Yes. Whenever, whenever I want to download any, any element, I will make sure that uh, 
I I look for the size of the element I want. I don't just download the element anyhow. So I will look for it and check the size. So if the size is not what I wanted to make the design on, I will import my own design. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to come here. Then on getting here, we'll go to the text area. Going to the text area, we have the heading. Then we have to edit it to the annual. You can see the annual. Okay, so selecting that, then we're heading to our font type. Then we have um, Anton. We have Anton regular. Let's say Anton. So this is it, Anton font. Then selecting it, then we click OK. OK, cool. So we have that position around there. Very good. Very good. So after that, we are going to copy. We are going to copy this. On copy, we are going to edit it to church. So we are going to have a church. Okay, cool. Then uh, we change the size. Let's change the size a little bit. So we are going to reposition around there. Okay, cool. Then the next thing we are going to do right now, we are going to have another text. You see everything is in line, and that is what I love about Canva. Canva will give you uh, the real alignment instead of you to be battling with that. So we have a conference. So we have a conference. Okay. Then we go to the font type. Which font can we use? So let's check a uh, mixture. mixture. Let's look at the mixture. Mistruly. Yes. The mistruly font should be the better one for this. So because of the hierarchy. So I will have this one increase a little bit, but not much. So that will be around here. Okay, perfect. But should not be touching this. Okay, I think, I guess this is okay. So I'm tapping on this. So tapping there, then we'll go to the color. I will use my plus sign and click on pencil to pick a color. So on getting there, then I will pick this particular color, click on done. Then we'll have the color being picked. Very cool. So now having picked the color, one thing I want us to do is this. Picking this color should be okay. Okay, perfect. So after that, we are going to uh, copy this. So have it copy, then we are going to edit. Let's edit it to 24. Then we back. Now we, we are going to bring this to this place. Okay. Or come down a bit so perfect so we we'll have it around there okay so the space in between let's give a space a bit so after that the next thing we're going to do is to have subheading where we have uh, let's say november november So I'm maintaining this font. We don't need to change. So I'm positioning it here after reducing the size. Okay, perfect. But I can bold it to make it feasible anyway because the hierarchy should be given to that as well. So we're going to increase the size a bit. Okay, perfect. Now after that, we're going to copy, then we we'll edit. After copy, then we will have Sunday. Sorry, we are going to delete it first. We have Sunday. So after that, we have a perfect place to position that, which is cool here, yeah, right? So it's okay here. Yeah. Then we can both if we want. So which is cool. So after that, the next thing I want us to do is to copy this particular font. Then we are going to edit this. Uh, what can we edit it to? Let's say we give because let's use that uh, quote. We give because okay, 
let's say we give because we have because we have been given okay i guess this is okay right so now we go to the font size we have it reduced to a minimal level and we are going to plan on keeping it here go to the color change it first for you to be able to see how visible they are and uh, we can use our color picker to pick the color from this side so pick from the class so i guess that should be that will be better so after that the next thing we want to do is to make it uh, close so we'll go to the spacing why we make it close a bit and that should be fine so after that uh we follow the iraqi anyway and we make sure that everything is actually perfect so now we have this the next thing we're going to do is to copy this particular font have it copy here then we'll go to the eraser we erase it where we have our right up here free parking okay then uh, we have this uh, slash let's say um let's say three dollar three dollar ticket just for practice just for uh, educational purpose so after that we need to reduce the size for this why because um because we want to position something around that place so it should be reduced a little bit while we adjust how we want it to be perfect so after that uh, we can still use um we can use let me increase a bit but shouldn't be too much okay perfect now let uh use a notch to move it up and down that is a positional rule then i will have this so we can now bring this one here now so we can have a position around there but don't forget to make sure that uh, it aligns properly first of all boot it then you go to the color and have the color change to black then after that we go to the font size we reduce it to a bare minimal level while we position to make sure that uh, it align so okay perfect now we can move it so let us move it okay then we we'll move it we we'll make it uh, closer okay perfect so now the color will still be changed the, this color cannot go with that so let's have the color change to this okay perfect now the next thing we want to do uh, we want to use uh, another let's copy so after copy we are going to erase everything where we have uh, uh, the website so let's say the only only church only church plan only church plan dot com so we have this right but everything should be closer there shouldn't be space in between so now this should be here then we are going to board it anyway to make it uh, obvious so after that we are going to reduce if possible reduce the size a bit then after reduction then we'll make sure that uh, there is more space in between so we we'll have a space in between uh, we we'll have a space a bit now the color should be changed because we cannot place a deep color on the deep background so we go to the color and we use a uh, white to be placed on the deep background so we are making sense anyway so now we are you see we are making sense and we are moving that so now i'm going to copy this particular font again and then i'm going to edit it so now we have our guest speaker so we have our guest speaker so good so our guest speaker will position this here have the color being changed to white increase it a bit increase it a bit okay perfect so the next thing it will is, is this we are going to copy this have it copy just copy then we are going to have the name of the patch store written so i have daniel 
Daniel So we have Daniel uh, John Daniel John just for practicing sec we have we have to reduce the size have it to position here now we will actually make sense with all what you are doing as you can see when you make a good design you know by yourself and uh, when all the hierarchy has been followed and uh, alignment so now as you can see we are done with uh, the design anyway and uh, when you look at it critically this is amazing very simple and top notch and actually communicating this is how the a simple flyer should look like if possible you can further by editing the image but i don't see anything wrong with the image and this is how far we can uh, go with uh, our own design using canva so i believe in the next tutorial we are going to start a logo or now we can use a canva making a logo and now we can present it on a marker the space shouldn't be too much like this so that's why we'll have to look into that and we'll have it uh, erased so thank you for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you try and practice so that at least you'll be able to uh, uh master the ideas and when you keep on practicing it will become part and parcel of you and at the end of the day or uh, you won't be limited with the inspiration and the skills so have your work being safe as a png thanks for watching once again